Howdy folks. Guess we can go ahead and get started. Um, let's see, updates. Anybody who was at the content creators meeting has probably heard this already. Uh, let's see, materials work is continuing. There's a lot of uh, a lot of spiffy images coming out of the PBR project. Um, people have been enthusiastically filing bugs, and we've been knocking them down. Um, so far, the filers I think are are have a little bit of an edge over the over the fixers, but we're working on it. Um, other things going on. Uh, we've started work to extend inventory to allow items and folders to have associated uh, thumbnail images. Um, so there's some uh, there's some cool work in progress there. Uh, it's going to require backend changes, new new implementations of uh, AIS, and it updates to the database and various things to actually roll it out. So it's going to be a little while before that all works its way through the system. But uh, coming along. Uh, let's see, other things going on. Uh, what, we're start, yeah, we're, we're just a fair amount of talk going around about what's next for uh, graphics work. Um, as as you all know, we've got a lot of interest in moving on to, to Vulkan uh, as soon as we can. Uh, OpenGL obviously isn't getting any younger and... Uh, or more widely supported, and it's uh, it's getting to be about time to update our API there, um, and uh, a bunch of other possible possible kind of future projects in the works. Again, once uh, once PBR goes out. So let's see. I don't think we have a ton of other news this uh, this time around. What's uh, what's going on with everybody else? Uh, our news uh, from Genesis is that we're hoping to do a, uh, a release this weekend. We've um, been working all month on safe uh, on search and replace links and search and delete links. Um, because of the way that Genesis is coded, we've had to write it ourselves. When I say we, it's actually Mel who's written it, but it's we if there's anything wrong with it. And we've put it out as a wide beta for everyone to test. We've done as much as we possibly can ourselves. We have an exciting video to show you how to do it, but it's pretty straightforward. You right click and you can replace uh, an inventory link throughout your entire inventory and your saved outfits. But that will be a release hopefully this weekend. Uh, I'm not sure I quite understand the, the feature you're replacing. You're replacing links based on what? Uh, a scenario that we've explained would be that people have saved outfits that contain a link to a mesh body that's since been updated. Um, it's the same feature that LLR Viewer has, says Whirly. Yeah, it didn't, it, we can't just um, take the code because the code for our viewer is not the same as the SL viewer. Okay, oh, I see. So, you, so it's a uh, sort of a bulk link update after... An uh, update. It's, it, this is completely Mel's work, so it's not um, anything we've acquired from anybody else. Yeah. Okay, that sounds cool. Oh, I thought of a couple of other updates that I didn't mention before. Um, performance flow to auto FPS viewer, yes, we're still trying to get it out. Um, the latest drama on that is that we've been trying to update the... Basically, we've been trying to review and, and tune the behavior for, um, uh, for, for new users with fairly low-end systems. We're trying to make sure that... You know, they get decent performance, but they're not looking at a sea of gray avatars. Um, so uh, still need a few settings, tweaks for that, um, and uh, hopefully be able to move forward with uh, getting that one deployed before too much longer. Um, the, the multilingual discussions here in chat also reminds me that we're talking about uh, various fixes there. We're, we're trying to get the, the uh, chat translations working uh, with a kind of a current suite of translation services um, and uh, considering other possible extensions there as well. So we'll see how that all goes.
Uh, Ryder, any news on uh, new developments on the server side of things? Well, we have the, the Ban the Bots simulator coming out. We're, we, we found a last-minute bug that uh, we're checking now. So hopefully that'll go to a couple RCs on... Uh, uh, that'll go to uh, a couple of the RCs next week. Got my, got my fingers crossed. For, for those that don't know the feature, this will allow you to uh, set, an estate, uh, set an estate-wide flag that will simply prevent bots from, from entering regions in the estate. I think people have been asking for something like this for quite a while and just recent recent events have uh, have have brought it up to the top of the list. All right. Oh, I see we have uh, Cosmic here, too. Uh, Cosmic, do you want to say anything about what's going on in uh, Materials Land? We also have well, Brad yeah, also on working a moment. on that. I've, I was just cutting, cutting out for a moment due, due to some voice issues. Uh, let me bring up a summary, and I'll get back to you on that. Okay, sounds great. All right, so with regard to the uh, materials project uh, in progress, um, there's, uh, Brad's been working on uh, some uh, fixes to the um, issue of PBR materials dropping, um, which has certainly been a, a pain point for folks beta, on the beta test grid. So hope I believe the server part has been deployed and future fixes are in progress, particularly on the client. Excellent. Um, and let's see, what else? Uh, texture loading improvements. Um, Dave, Dave P has been working on some some further improvements to texture loading, texture loading faster, uh, further considerations uh, for hardware with uh, less VRAM available, um, considerations for cases where you're running low on texture memory, then suddenly everything is blurry, and there's been some significant improvements to that, um, and also um, some fixes with regard to uh, texture compression. Um, so great, no more blurry textures. Um, Geens has been working on some Mac uh, performance, uh, trying to get that ironed out. Um, and besides that, we've been uh, heads deep in a, a bunch of uh, bug fixing and regressions to try and get PBR up to a good state. Uh, really, are you using, uh, what version of the viewer are you, are you using? Are you using the, uh, project build? Okay. We, it's quite possible, uh, that it, that a fix has been pushed, but it would be good to make sure that we're handling all the edge cases for that. Thanks for the heads up.
All right. I guess we are open for any other topics people may have. Uh, yeah, as Ryder says, I think that would be a, a support thing if there was a uh, if there was a complaint filed against a particular texture. Uh, so what's the issue with the particular texture in question? Yeah, that's definitely a question for support. I, I don't know any details on how they would process that. Transition to Vulcan. Uh, I mean, I'm hoping that at least some of the folks that are working on uh, GLTF now will be able to start on Vulcan as soon as they transition off of that. So it it's really... I think it's mainly a question about uh, when GLTF will be done, um, which, you know, like most projects, it's uh, it's hard to be sure. We're, uh, you know, we're definitely at the stabilization and bug fixing stage, but, you know, anything where you're changing the graphic system this much means that there's, uh, there's a lot of checks we need to do about uh, making sure we don't break existing content and, uh, uh, you know, that the behavior is compatible between the old and the new systems and so forth. So um, there's 
still a decent chunk of work left to, to get all of that sorted out, I think. Uh, oh yeah, the Jira thing. Um, I th I think the lead contenders right now are to either um, switch to using uh, the Jira Cloud or to uh, to use GitHub's um, uh, you know issue management system. Um, but we haven't made any final decisions on it yet. We're still investigating options. Who uh, who among the TPV folks are using Jira now, and, and what do you think you're going to do? Yeah, uh, really. That's the user limit is uh, is obviously the. The big, I don't know if it's the big. It's a big drawback with Jira Cloud. Um, I I don't think there's any scenario where we're going to be able to continue to take public issues the same way we've been doing it in the past because we just can't support the same number of users. Um, so what does that mean? Probably there's going to be some sort of a uh, you know some sort of a gateway between uh, you know our internal Jira and and external tickets. Um, Details on that uh, haven't been worked out yet. I, I'm not happy about it either. If I had a better option, I'd be pushing for it. We started to use the discussion center in uh, GitHub so that we could try and get a ticket system, but it wasn't that great, to be honest, so we sort of kind of abandoned it again. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's a tough one. I think the I think the toasted Jira is going away February of next year, so we've got a bit of time left, but we're gonna have to decide pretty soon just to have time to implement whatever we're going with. Jira's Jira doesn't really have a notion of, you know, kind of huge numbers of casual users that almost never use the system, and their pricing doesn't reflect that kind of use case. Does every user, obviously every user has an ability to lock into Jira, but is there not a way where people can register as opposed to having an account created for them? Because... I mean, you wouldn't have a million people using Jira, would you? <clears throat> mm, uh, potentially, although, uh, you know, if, if the pricing is based on, you know, your, your, your license, you're licensing X number of users, then, um, you know, even if people had to explicitly sign up, it would be kind of open-ended then how many additional people we would get. You couldn't uh, create an account per region or something? That would limit it, wouldn't it? Uh, count for the region? I'm not I'm not sure what you mean. You've got 38,000 regions or something like that. That would that would limit it to 38,000 accounts, wouldn't it? Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, normally, uh, normally there's associated with residents rather than locations, right? Because people are... People are filing a bug about, you know, some proposed improvement or something that's broken, and 
you know you you what what you really want is to be able to kind of track that by the person who files it rather than uh you know necessarily by where they are or whatever yeah i i i don't know the that yeah doing it by regions would give you some sort of a fixed pool um it's but it's uh yeah it's also possible that the best fit for Jira's model would just be to uh you know, have some sort of a gateway I think that I think that would actually be easier with GitHub because you know anybody who wants to can create a GitHub account and it's not an expense for us it's just uh, or or for them for that matter um, so it uh, that part of it would scale better yeah uh, we don't know yet really the you know as I say the the big contenders right now are either to keep uh, you know to switch to Jira Cloud or to uh, uh, try to try to uh, switch to to GitHub's uh, system, but we don't know which way we're going on that yet. It's still possible some other contender will come along. Uh, Torek, you said you had done some investigation into GitHub's issue tracking system. What what kinds of uh, problems did you run into there? I was just pulling up to have a look at. Uh, we opened the discussion system to see if we could do ticketing so that people would be able to put their own issues in, but there was no duplicate check or anything we think we might have set it up wrong but i don't know every time i try and do an issue it asks me if i want to open a discussion which i don't i want to open a ticket mm. yeah i haven't really test driven it much myself but i know that we've done some internal tests with uh with it it's, it looks like it's pretty customizable you can uh you know, you can add fields and stuff. So I think if you're willing to to bash on it long enough, you can kind of get the fields that you're used to from Jira into it. But um, how kind of all the workflows and the filters and stuff work, uh, um, I don't think we've got all the all the kind of details worked out there. We, we do file tickets ourselves when we get a report through that something's gone wrong and we can reproduce it, then we file it ourselves. It's an internal system. I do beg your pardon, it's St. Patrick's evening here, so of course, the ambulance is around force. Yeah, so the internal system does, it does work if you know, we control it and, and we do pick up our tickets from there. And we work through that list expiring each one as we've done it. We mark it as completed to move on. But that's what everyone else does, isn't it, really? But we have to manually upload the problem ourselves. Uh, yeah, that's the problem. It doesn't scale that well. <laughs> when you their own bug tracker, yeah. In the early days at the company, we... We were very big on kind of homebrewing our own systems. Um, we still have a few of those things percolating around, but uh, it it's definitely introduces uh, its own set of issues. You want to make sure that you're confident you can actually do something that's uh, you know comparable to the commercial stuff. And then even if even if you like the results, then it means you're stuck maintaining it yourself forever. I realize it may not have been a serious suggestion, but uh, it is a it is a route that we've attempted to take sometimes in the past.
Feature voting, oh, it's going back a ways. Yeah, well, cost-wise, GitHub is appealing because the, you know, their their issue tracker is already part of what we're paying for anyway. Um, so that that part's a big win, but uh, it's a lot more work just figuring out how to translate everything we already have into some suitable equivalent. Yeah, I, I don't like either of our options. If uh, <laughs> if somebody's got a better idea, I'd be very interested in discussion. That's a good idea. If we buy it at Lassie and then the more jurors we file, the more money we make. All right, well, I don't really have any other topics for this week. Uh, if that's all we got, then we can wrap it up and go off and, I don't know, have an early weekend or a late lunch or something. All right, well, thanks for coming by, and we'll talk to you later. Cheers, everyone. It's down the pub now, isn't it? St. Patrick's. Well, we're finishing an hour here as well. I've been in the UK. There you go. Oh, Green no, beer time. Good, it? <laughs> Only half past eight in the UK. We usually don't finish here till um, 10 o'clock your time, but our clocks haven't moved. Everyone. All right, I need to go and change into something suitably slutty, so I shall see you shortly. <laughs>